All right, thanks for watching. And today I'll discuss what it means for a limit to be infinity. And essentially all that this means is that your sequence is as large as you want it to be. So limit n goes to infinity of Sn equals infinity if for all m positive, you can find some threshold such that after that threshold, n is bigger than capital N, then your sequence is above that threshold. So in other words, no matter how big of a number I give you, let's say a gajillion or something, eventually the sequence goes above that number. So there is some threshold such that after that threshold, the sequence goes above this. And similarly for the limit being minus infinity, so for minus infinity, it just means whichever negative number I give you, the sequence is below that negative number. So limit n goes to infinity of Sn is minus infinity if for all m negative there is, is m such that such that after that threshold your sequence is less than that number. I tell you, can your sequence be less than minus a billion? Yes, eventually. And today, in today's 10th example, uh, I will show you an example of showing how a limit is infinity. So consider, I believe, this one. So show that the limit as n goes to infinity of square root of n minus 2 plus 3 is infinite. And again, let's just do some scratch work. So step one, essentially we wanna find that threshold. So in other words, we just wanna find n such that the whole quantity, square root of n minus two plus three, it's bigger than m. But this we can just solve. So square root of n minus two is bigger than m minus three, so n minus two uh, is bigger than m minus three squared, and then n, it's bigger than two plus m minus three squared. Okay, very good, and it suggests to let capital M be that. But that's what we have to show. So, let capital M, so that's step two, our proof. So let capital M positive be given. And let capital M be just two plus uh, M minus three squared. Then, if n is greater than capital N, then let's see our square root. So the stuff we want to show, square root of n minus 2 plus 3, well, that becomes bigger than um, square root of a 2 plus m minus 3 squared minus 2 plus three, and that becomes square root of m minus three squared plus three. And well, this becomes absolute value of m minus three, but just assume m is large enough such that this is bigger than three. So assume m is greater or equal to three, so we get m minus three plus three, which becomes m. So eventually this funk, this sequence is bigger than M and therefore we can conclude 
limit n goes to infinity of square root of n minus 2 plus 3, it's infinite. Good. All right, and that's it.